What's up guys, NFL Talk, football season, today, Sunday, September 18th, 2016, my birthday. Thank you Giants for the good old birthday present, uh, getting this win over the New Orleans Saints, um, which is we're going to cover right now. Uh, last time we uh, battled the Saints, it was pretty much one of the most historic games we've ever seen. In my opinion, one of the most historic games I've ever seen. Where people were just dropping touchdowns left and right. Between Drew Brees and Eli Manning. The the wild, um, the wild wide receivers were just going loose. Just going loose. But we ended up losing. Big time. And this was a very important game to us. Um, and we ended up winning. Because our defense showed up. Um... Showed up for a second straight time. Dallas now. The New Orleans Saints. Um, and once again. When it comes to the fourth quarter. Even though we didn't go into like the two minute, uh, two minute mark. Um, ahead of the New Orleans Saints. But we're able to finish. Greatly. And use the time. Uh, to our advantage. Getting that field goal. At the last second. And getting that win. So, great job for the New Orleans, I mean, New York Giants with that defense. Yo, crazy. But, um, yeah, let's start off with the New York Giants defense. Pretty much being the catalyst for this game. Uh, so bunch of people got into it. Um, Eli Apple, he, he showed some toughness in this game. Uh, this boy Thompson, great. This boy Hall, who got the sack in. Um... And this boy, this boy Jenkins, he, I would say he was the MVP, uh, maybe, of the defense, for sure. For sure, the defense, I wouldn't say the full game, because I'm I'm still um, torn between Eli Manning and Jenkins. Because Jenkins tore the house down. This boy was making good, good plays, uh, good block-offs. Um, stopping these wide receivers, just stopping them, crazy. He's my MVP on the defensive side for sure. Um, so the um the New Orleans Saints defense was very potent as well, and they have been getting the flock of. Their defense was horrible for the past couple of years. This time around, today at least, they did very very well. Um. Uh, this boy Robertson was doing very, very well. This boy Moore, even though that one instance where he messed up big time with Odell Beckham Jr. And then you have this other, this Moore guy. Well, not Moore. Uh, Bell. Bell, he did some good things too. So the defense for the um, New Orleans Saints were doing very, very well. They made three turnovers, I think, on the New Orleans, um, New York Giants, sorry. Uh, three turnovers, all by fumble. So, great job on the defense of the New Orleans Saints. Um, offense of the New York Giants. Eli Manning, 32 completions out of 41 attempts. This guy was, this guy was good. He was doing good management on good plays at the right moments, good pump fakes, just doing all the good things. Even though he didn't get no pass touchdowns, but he kept the game alive for this team. Um, 368 yards. Better than they did uh, last game with the Dallas. Phenomenal. Just straight phenomenal. Um, the receiving yards. This boy Shepard. He just came out of nowhere. I haven't heard about this dude. But apparently this people were raving about him. Even before the game. Tell, talking about. Oh, let's, see, let's hear about Shepard. I didn't know who this guy was. But now I do. He seems to be a very good player. 23 years old. Rookie. Um, 117 yards. 8 receptions. Fantastic. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. had 8 receptions. 86 yards. Pretty good. He had his moments. It was not completely Odell Beckham Jr.'s show in this game. But he did his mark. Victor Cruz, uh, his mark would end up coming in the end of the game, towards the end of the game. His uh, catch, I think, was a 40-yard one. 
which would lead into the winning uh, field goal for the New, uh, New York Giants. So big ups to Victor Cruz. Hopefully we can see more of him. He had 91 yards, four receptions. Phenomenal job for him. And this boy Vernon, um, I never really appreciated him that much. Um, he did. He got the most carries in the rushing, 14. And then he got some things going on in the receiving yards. Uh, 24 yards, 3 receptions, 14 carries in the rushing yards, uh, 42 yards. Even though that's not pretty good at all. That's just below average. But altogether, the moment that he picked was very, very good. So big ups to Vermin. Um, Vern. Um, but overall, the rushing was not good at all. Uh, Jennings couldn't get nothing done. Only 27 yards off of 13 carries. Everything else was just poor. So, once again, this is something to really look at. We need to get some rushing going for the next game. But other than that, um, it was decent. It's just the, um, the offense needs to do a better job because the defense was doing the work. The New Orleans um, Saints, you got to give it up once again for the defense of the New York Giants keeping Drew Brees at bay. And plus the fact that it didn't seem that communications were going well with Drew Brees in the offense. Um, the receivers weren't doing so good. Not entirely all together, but individually they weren't doing so good. Cooks was doing the most damage. Seven receptions, 68 yards. This boy Thomas, 56 yards off of four receptions. This boy Sned, five receptions, 54 yards. Feeling her. This guy had the most work to do with. Um, this guy has so many people on his ass. Um, like so many people were just guarding him because Drew Brees was just throwing it to him, throwing it to him, throwing it to him, and he just couldn't get nothing done. Only two receptions. 29 yards. And the rushing game. It was worse than the Giants. That's crazy. Um, big ups once again to the New York Giants. Keeping Ingram down to the count. Only 9 recept um, carries. 30 yards. And that's pretty much it. Um, congratulations once again to the New, uh, New York Giants. Uh, we go 2-0. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully we can keep this up. Uh, I don't know who we're going to face again. Face next. I have to check on that. So that's it for me. New York, uh, New York Giants go up 2-0. Good up.